and uh, and healing from even severe, like you were having panic attacks and suicidal thoughts, and you were able to completely reverse yeah. that just by consciously controlling your breath. And that is what is so exciting to me about um, about these kinds of modalities. And, and it's because it's not just you, you know. I, I in 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 the the time that I have been researching this, I have come across um, over a hundred stories of people oh, that yeah. I've, I've watched videos That's of people true, talking about how they suffer from really bad depression or horrible crippling anxiety or even autoimmune disorders and things, asthma, um, all of these uh, conditions that really affect their life or were even completely crippling to them. And through breath work, they were able to completely reverse these things. Not only, not only relieve the suffering, but, create a new life for themselves full of more joy for full of oh, peace yes. and love and and to really start to begin to enjoy life and that seems to be uh the um one of the core uh, common experiences is that people become more present uh and they begin to enjoy their life more when they when they begin to discover the breath and do breath work and to me that's so exciting and it, i think that's oh. so valuable in today's world so, you know anything oh that, yes Oh yes, it's it's priceless, man, and it's like it can be very underestimated uh, because of like um, because it's like okay, it's breathing, everybody's breathing, so what's what's a big deal here? And like there's a lot of uh, uh, kind of like thinking about um, I don't know, like the, the kind of old school mentality that uh, that. Um, there are no simple solutions for 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 big problems that we need somebody else to to fix our problems or uh, health issues or we need to uh, just have uh, some kind of smart person to tell us something uh, from the outside like forbidden knowledge that i didn't know about it's very simple it's like it's kind of like, and people through the ages they knew about this like uh, yogic oh, yeah. traditions and uh, qigong and shamanic cultures shamanic breathing like all of these people knew it in ten, like by experiencing it they knew it that it works and uh, it's just a matter of putting practice in this and, and attention to it and focusing on that and this is a miraculous like uh, healing tool that we can use in so many ways we can use it gently we can use it like extremely to, to a powerful healing and there's a whole palette in breath work that it's like mind blowing how many things we could do. And one of the things that's so fascinating for me um, uh, is that um, one of the things, if, if you just look up about breath work on YouTube or whatever, you're bound to come across someone comparing it to a plant medicine journey, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so for those for those people who know what things like ayahuasca or San Pedro are, they are uh, like psychedelic substances taken by healers of indigenous cultures throughout the world, but they're taking them in order to heal themselves, in order to uh, move past emotional trauma or, or to heal different aspects of themselves or to gain certain insights and knowledge. And there are people that say they have had those kinds of experiences with these very powerful plant teachers. And then they go and they try breath work and they have either experiences that are just as powerful or more potent, more powerful and more beneficial than even on these potent plant medicines. And one of the cool things, so I'm, I'm, uh, I've been learning one-on-one, -on -one, like I've said, through my teacher to become a facilitator of breath work, but my teacher is teaching this course, the Kausai Patui. And so he has learned through working with the people of the Andes, um, uh, the the uh, the Caros, the people that live high up in the mountains, they have breathing techniques that they use in their ritual and their ceremony to access altered states. The people of thin, the, of, uh, of Africa, the Sansei traditions, um, the people mm. in in, uh, in Japanese shamanism, people in North American shamanism, they all use breathwork techniques to to drive these conscious experiences. And my teacher, uh, one of the things he recently told to me was that um, when we're using, for example, say San Pedro, which is a, it's a medicine derived from a type of cactus. It's a, it's a, a psychedelic plant medicine. Um, when you take San Pedro, there's a certain morphic field of information that can be gained from, from, from working with that substance. There is a certain morphic field of information that allows us to heal a certain 
certain parts of ourselves, certain aspects of ourselves. And it can be useful for also gaining insights and knowledge and learning how to operate our, our conscious vehicle in certain ways, right? But um, but but when taking San Pedro, it's the morphic field of San Pedro that you're working with. If you're taking ayahuasca, same thing is true, but it's the morphic field of ayahuasca and that spirit. But he says, with the breath, depend, you know, there are, there's an almost an infinite number of ways to use the breath. And you can even use the breath in specific breathing patterns and, move, and, and in flows of energy combined with breathing where you can access the morphic field of San Pedro or wow. ayahuasca just this through the breath. Crazy. And and wow. you can ask and you can ask access any any particular type of altered state of consciousness you want simply by controlling the breath and learning these techniques. Um, now, so who, that's not, who is who is teaching this man? Like, who is he, like? He's he's my teacher, Don Zane Kerfman. Um, okay. So uh, so um, let me. Uh, I almost want to. Uh, He's, oh, actually, you know what? I tell anyone who's interested in this, subscribe to my channel because he's going to be on my channel next Friday. Oh, so so uh, nice. less, in six days, he will be on my channel and he, and we're going to be talking about this. He calls it the Kao Sai Patui. The Breath of Life is his course that he's teaching on, on all of this. Um, so he'll be talking about that wow, on Friday. This is this something channel. new I didn't know about, what, like that you can be so specific in, in accessing different parts of energies. Wow, this is crazy. Yes. Oh, it goes so. And, and, you know, the more I learn about breath work, especially through him, the more I realize that there is just so much to it that, uh, yeah, I still I feel like such a beginner. There's so much mm -hmm. to learn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> always. Always. 